Marcela. Híjole. Ok, guys. Sorry for the inconveniences, you know. The rain. No problem, teacher. The Don't worry, teacher. Don't worry. <laughs> so thank you for your patience and understanding, okay? Well, I was telling you about how to use the present simple for the future. Okay? And we said we see here the examples, right? You were providing your own examples too. But remember, this the structure is the subject. The verb and the complement. Example, we have a lesson next morning. The train arrives at 6.30. The holidays start next week. It's my fourth day tomorrow. The, the course finishes tomorrow. The next course starts the next week. Example. So those Teacher, that's, that's true. The, the course finishes tomorrow. Yes, that's true, Alejandra. <laughs> okay. That's a fact. Tomorrow is our last class. And that is simple practice for the future. Tomorrow <laughs> is our last class. Okay. Now, let's... Can I... Excuse me? Can I say my vacation are next month? Yes. And that is simple present for the future. Okay. Good example. Now... We also use the present continuous or the present progressive is the same for plans or arrangements. Again, you already have a plan and that's why you can use the present continuous. I'm playing football tomorrow. They are coming to see us tomorrow. We are having a party at Christmas. Do you remember I told you the difference between the present continuous or the present continuous for actions happening in the moment? And what is the difference with the present continuous for the future? What is the only difference? Do you remember? I told you guys, I told you one class. Right here. You have to use the structure, yes, you have to use the ING form, the verb to be, but I told you about one difference. The difference is? Right now, and in very is, we, we, we use, we use the share, the present we use in a con in event, in, in event. Yes. Sí. Ah, se me fue la palabra. ¿Qué está pasando en el momento? Se me fue. Sí. Event happening at the moment, and that's why, as Patty said, we use the time expressions for the moment. At the moment, yes. right now, in this moment, right? So. Sí, thank you, teacher. Yes. And for the future, we use. Again, future time future. expressions like tomorrow, next year. In this case, we have at Christmas, which is future season, right? Okay, and yes, this the structure is what is the structure? Subject plus the verb to be. We need to use the verb to be, which is am, is, are. Plus the verb in the ing form plus the complement. The complement can be the future time expression. So they, they are very important because they tell you, right? If it's the present conti the present or the future. Like in here, I, it doesn't say I'm playing football right now, right? I'm not playing football right now. I'm playing football tomorrow. They are coming to see us right now. No, tomorrow. We are having a party in this moment. No, we are having a class. But we're having a party at Christmas in the future. Okay? 
So that is the difference. The time expression. But the structure, the structure, the formula is the same. Subject, I, they, we, Maria, Juanita. The verb to be, am, is, or are. And the verb in the ing form, play, playing, come, coming, and have, having. Can you make some examples using the present continuous for the future? Okay. Yes, I'm waiting for you. Are you brother, teacher, one, uh, teacher? Yes. Okay, volunteer teacher. I am volunteer. Yes. Are you brother driving? Driving? Is your brother? It, it's a question, it. right? It's a question. Oh, el are? Ah, no, sino que sería el is porque es por la pregunta. Okay, ma, it's an, a sentence or a question? Yes, question. Okay, is your brother driving to work tomorrow? Okay. But you need the future time expression. Okay. Stephanie, well, I'm going to the hospital on Wednesday. Okay, very good. I am cooking next week, Geraldine. Okay. Um, a plan could be um let's see we are finishing or the classes are finishing tomorrow okay. Another example. Maria. I am going to. I am, uh, teacher, digamos si lo armo, si lo armo como. I am going to eat pizza tonight. Yes, you are using going to. But it's also okay. Okay. Uh, another example is this, Maria is working. Maria is working at the office this week. Okay, another example we have here in the chat. My mother is cooking seafood this weekend, could be, this weekend. Okay, another example we have here in the chat. I'm going to, okay, Sandra, but you are using going to, and it's okay, but right now it's like I'm having dinner after class. She's taking care of her children tomorrow. I'm cutting my hair tomorrow. Excellent, Ingrid. I'm working tomorrow morning, okay? Eh, Milagro, Alejandro, they are running next week. Hey, nice. Another example could be I'm traveling next month. Right? I'm having vacation next month, etc. Okay, but it's present continuous for the future. Okay, Andrea, I'm eating a snack later. Only one tea. She's playing tennis. Um at a school next month. I'm swimming tomorrow in the afternoon. Okay, good examples. Now guys, let's go over the next one. Will, will, we use it when we express beliefs about the future, like predictions. We use will for predictions a lot, or beliefs. Example, it will be a nice day tomorrow. I think, I think it's your idea, it's your belief, 
but it's not, you are not sure. You are not 100% sure. It's just like a prediction. I think Brazil will win the World Cup. I'm sure you will enjoy the film, right? But it's like a prediction. I'm sure you will enjoy the movie. You can also use will to mean want to or be willing to. I hope you will come to my party. I hope you will come to my party. It's the future. Espero que vengas a mi fiesta. But it's the future. I hope you will come to my party. George says he will help us. Right? Jorge dice que nos ayudará. It's like George wants to help us. Or I hope uh, you are coming to my party, right? Or you can come to my party. So this is will. Can you use will for predictions? Maybe tomorrow, next month, or next year, or after the class? Will, predictions. And while you think about those examples, I am going to take the attendance, okay? Wow, excellent. All the people finished the platform. I am checking right now. Yeah, all the people finish finished the platform with good good grades. I'm happy for you. Congratulations, guys. Keep that way. Okay, today is Monday 17th, July 17th. Aleida Samira. Thank you, Leida. Ana Beatriz Martinez. Present, teacher. Andrea Esther Acosta. Present, Miss. Brandon Steven Gomez. Brandon Steven. I saw him a moment ago. Are we... Okay, Sandra, I will travel. Yeah, I, I'm sorry that I, okay. When you use will after will, you use the, the verb in the base form. I will play, I will work, I will study, you will eat, you will have, you will sleep, we use, we use the the base form of the verb after will. Without ing. Without ing. Ing. Yeah. Some people wrote, for example, Milagro wrote, "It will be raining," but she used be right. Raining after class. In it's okay. That's correct. I will be traveling to Mexico next year. It's correct, but you are using B. That is subject, will, and the best form of the verb. Ana Beatriz, maybe you can say, I think I will watch a movie tomorrow. I think I will watch. Sandra, I will travel to Japan next year. <laughs> okay. Good. I'm going to continue with the attendance. Caleb Ariel Vera. Present. Thank you, Caleb. Um, Efraín Emilio. Okay, Efraín. Um, Geraldine Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you, Yeraldine. Evel Virginia Tobán. Present, Miss. 
Ingrid Maricela Flores. Present, Miss. Irma Adriana Segura. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa García. Present. José Alejandro Vaquerano. Present, teacher. Juan David Madrid. I think his Juan Ma Juan David. Juan David. Okay, thank you, Juan David. Um, let's say Juan Jose Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Juan. Eh, Julio César Alfaro. Julio César. Julio César is here or not. <laughs> Kevin Josías. Kevin Josías Flores. Um, Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Cibrián. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Eh, Luis, sorry, María José Najarro. Present teacher. Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, Mary. Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. Here I am. Thank you, Mirna Landos. Mirna Yanet Landos. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Adanzerón. Present teacher. Thank you. Patricia Esmeralda García. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Corea. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Riva. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Mosa. She wrote present. Um, Stephanie Abigail Quintanilla. I'm here. And Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so missing today is only Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar Alfaro is not present. Okay, now I'm going to read your your example. I will eat pupusas tomorrow in the morning, okay? I will travel, Sandra. I will travel to Japan. I'm sure we will receive the next course for English Corporativo. <laughs> we will finish class tomorrow. I will go to breakfast. I will go to a breakfast tomorrow, maybe. They will have a party on Saturday. Invite me. I will finish this class tomorrow. I think Miss Rocio will be our teacher in the next fall. <laughs> okay, Jefferson will be a policeman. Mm, good. And I'm sure we will learn to speak. We will learn to speak English. I will be speaking English very good next year. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, Kevin, I already took your attendance because I saw you connected. Good, now let's continue. So this is with Will. Now, let's go over. Uh, also, we can use Will to make offers and promises. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll send you an email. When you go to an interview, a job interview, they say, thank you for your time. We'll, we will call you, okay? We will call you. <laughs> Right, they say that when you go to a job interview. Uh, to talk about offers and promises too, the team will be at the meeting. Ma Mary will help with the cooking. So as you notice, the, the structure, the structure is easy. Subject plus will plus the verb. And that's it. 
I will say goodbye tomorrow. That's an example, right? Um, I will prepare a nice class. That's a promise. Just kidding. Okay, so if you notice, subject will end the verb. Nice. Do you have any questions about this? Or clear like the water? Or like your chatter? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, Alejandra says, I will go to work tomorrow. Okay. Good. Now, be going to. You were waiting for this. Estaban esperando. You were waiting for the be going to. What is the structure for a be going to? Do you remember? Subject plus subject plus verb to be verb to be plus going to going I -N -G. to going to going to I -N -G going is to present continuous going to plus the verb in base form and the complex complex. And we have the examples here. We use be going to to talk about plans or intentions. Uh, let's see. Mm, so, uh, volunteer to read the example. Me, teacher. Anna, okay. To talk about. No, no, just the sentences. Yeah? Yes, it's, I'm going. I'm going to drive to work today. They are going to move to Manchester. Thank you. So it's a plan or it's an intention. It's my plan. I'm going to drive to work today. I'm not going to take the bus today. Uh, they are going to move to Manchester. They are going to, to visit a. Uh, my parents next weekend. Okay, Geraldine, bro, I'm going to play tennis on Monday morning. On Monday morning. Okay. Also, you can use be going to to make predictions based on evidence that we can see, right? And we have the examples here. Uh, Patricia, can you read the examples, please? Okay, be careful. You are going to fall. And I can see that you may fall. I, you might fall. Okay, next. Look at Paul's back cloud. 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 I think it's going to rain. Exactly. I can see that it will rain. Yeah, we have evidence. We have evidence, and that's why we can you we, we say that right we a plan or an intention. Another could be they are going to get married soon, right? They already they are engaged. They got engaged, so they are going to get married soon. Mm, or she's going to have a baby, right? You have the evidence. The big belly. Good. Can you make your examples using going to? I have one. You? You're going to speak English very well. 
in a few months. You are going to be in intermediate level pretty soon, right? Intermediate level, can you imagine? That's great. Well, okay, examples. We're going to have a baby, okay? Geraldine, I'm, I'm, don't forget the part to be. I'm going to send a letter to my mother. Anna, I'm going to do the homework, very good. I'm going to go to Chalatenango next weekend. She's going to practice English tonight. I'm going to have a nice shift tomorrow. We're going to find a better job. Yes, when you speak English, you're going to find a better job, more jobs opportunity. You're going to have more jobs opportunity. Okay, let's go over the next, the next use. The future, for the future. We can also use verbs like would like, plan, want, mean, hope, and expect to talk about the future. We have the examples here. Nelson, would you like to read the examples, please? Okay. We plan to go to France for problems. Oh, Nelson, I think you're having problems with your internet connection. Maria Jose, can you read the three examples, please? Okay. What are you, what are you going to do next year? I'd like to go to university. We plan to go to France for our holiday. George wants, wants to buy a new car. Exactly. So we can use these expressions or these verbs also for the future, to, to talk about the future. I would like to go to the university. I would like to travel to Brazil. I would like to learn a new language. We plan to go. We plan to study hard. We plan to find a new job. We plan to start a business. George wants to, wants to buy a new car. Uh, she wants to buy a new house. Uh, you want to finish the course, right? So these are, as you can see, these, these verbs. After this verb, you need to use to plus the next verb. I will write here the structure. Could be would like to, would like, plan, hope, mean. But before that, we need the subject. Okay, subject, loss. These expressions or these verbs expect. And then you have to use to plus the verb. Before verb, teacher. She hopes, she hopes to pass the exam. That is one example. She hopes, because it's third person, she hopes to pass the exam. Or she wants to pass the exam, right? Can you make some examples?
another one. She would like to get a tent in the town. She plans to study for the town. She plans, sorry, she plans. Example, she speaks English really well. Okay, we plan to buy a new house. I hope to buy a new car. Yeah, you have to use these verbs. Would like or plan, want, mean, hope, or expect. Geraldine, that will be he would like. He would like to if it's in a restaurant. I want to buy a house, okay. She hopes to travel tomorrow. Very good, Alejandro. Teacher, uh, I can I can change uh, for uh, the good life for the uh, to uh, the plan the me and respect. Yes, mm -hmm. you can use. Any of these ones? Oh, oh, okay. I use good light or or or, or the thing that I that I want to to use. Yeah, plan or not the the other uh, the other words or verbs. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the example here. She hopes to pass exam. She wants to pass exam. She would like to pass the exam. She plans to pass the exam. She expects to pass the exam. She means to pass the exam. Mm -hmm. So they have like a future meaning, these, these expressions or these verbs. And that is the structure, subject, the verb, plus to, plus the other verb, and the complement. Yeah, and the future time expression, don't forget, I would like to eat pizza for lunch tomorrow. Okay, Sandra, my daughter plans to buy a new house. To buy, don't forget that when we have two verbs, we need to use two. Okay, we just have a couple of minutes, so we need to run. Now, guys, I want you to explain also how the models can have a future meaning. The models may, might, and could, but we use them when we are not sure about the future. We are not sure. So, for example, it's a probability. I might stay at home tonight, or I might go to the cinema. We could see Mary at the meeting. She sometimes goes, right? It might rain later at night, right? Or not, it might, it might rain too. Or it might rain later. I might eat chicken. I'm not sure, but it's a probability, it's a possibility. Your examples using might? Okay, Anna says I might cook spaghetti tomorrow. Oh, Alejandro is insured. I might go to work tomorrow. Or not. I might not work on Monday. I might run next week. Good. So as you notice, the structure is very simple. Subject. Plus the model verb. Plus the verb. 
The model verb could be may, might, or could. Subject, model verb, and verb plus the complement. I forgot. Plus complement with a future time expression. Is it too much information for today? Or it's okay? Is it okay? Or too much? <laughs> too much. Too much. <laughs> well, tomorrow in our last class, we're gonna have an exercise, okay? I think we are not, we don't have enough time to do it today, but tomorrow we are going to finish what we're gonna have, we're going to have, I'm using the future, <laughs> the exercise. Virginia, I could go to the movies tonight, but I have an English class. You could teach me more about this language. Yeah, I can teach you a lot, but uh, step by step, too much information is, is too much, right? Okay. <laughs> I have also this information about the use of hope. Hope, but I think we can review it tomorrow. I would just say it quickly, how to use hope, the, the, the verb hope. Espero, right? Esperar que él espera, yo espero, yo espera. Hope for the future. We can use either the present simple or the future simple. And it doesn't change the meaning. I hope that she comes to the party tomorrow. I hope that she'll come or she will come to the party tomorrow. Or we can use with can. I hope you can come to the party tomorrow or with the infinitive. I hope to come to the party tomorrow. I hope to run a marathon this year. But we can also use hope plus an object pronoun, espero que tú vengas a la fiesta mañana. I hope you can come to the party tomorrow. Ese es diferente a I hope to come to the party tomorrow. Espero venir a la fiesta mañana. So, espero venir es yo, ¿verdad? Y I hope you can come, espero que tú. I hope all my students can connect to the class tomorrow. <laughs> Milagro, I hope to win the lottery someday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we just have two more minutes and I, we, we, con, we are going to review this tomorrow, okay? Don't worry if you cannot take all your notes. Now I need you to do this homework. The homework will be about your autobiography. Write your autobiography. The biography of yourself. Ana Beatriz Martinez was born in. <laughs> you can write it in third person or you can write it in first person. My name is Ana Beatriz Martinez de Lopez. I was born in San Salvador on May 19, etc., etc. You have to include where and when you were born, your family, your information about your family, the, your parents, if you have brothers or sisters, your education, if you study, finished school, if you went to the university, your career, your professional life, like your job right now, your goals for the future, and any other achievement or any other information you want to include. Is that clear? Is that okay? Can you make it for tomorrow? It's okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. yes I think it's gonna be a, a, an interesting oh, great. activity. I have done it before with other students and and they did a good, no, not a good, a great job. And I'm sure you can also make a great job with this. 
and this is gonna help you to practice. Uh, this is going to help you to practice the past, the present, the future. So it's gonna be a good exercise. Well, guys, by now, by now it's nine o'clock and it's time to go, okay? So I hope that you learned something today. Did you learn something today? Yes. Okay, can you tell me one thing you learned today, Alejandro? We learned how, how to use hope and uh, the, um, how to use will, how to use will too, and, and that. Yes, thank you, Alejandro. Yes, this class was a review of the future that we have studied before, and I included more information. Uh, your autobiography, you can write it, but I tomorrow you will speak, okay? You will speak about okay. it. Hmm? So, but it's important to organize your ideas first and practice your pronunciation. Okay, guys, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Teacher, but we will we'll give you in the class tomorrow. No. We're going to have a class tomorrow. Uh, about, uh, the, uh, the, homework. the homework. Yeah. La puede mandar antes si quiere. You can send it in the WhatsApp group before. It's okay. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.